everyone, welcome back to another episode on Modded Super Flat. Hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, I'm addicted to playing this right now. I just got done playing for like three hours before I started recording. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and catch you up on what I have done. Um, first off, I started sieving the gravel that we have, and this is uh, some of the stuff that I've gotten so far. I'll go over that with you in just a second. Also, went and got another bucket of water, so we have a source now. Um, didn't really mess with any of that stuff, and then I started a tree farm here. Um, just got that done, put torches down, did a little bit of exploring. I uh, just kind of went in a straight line here. <laughs> Looks like a wiener. Um, what else? Did, did I find anything of value? Not really. Oh, our pickaxe now has auto smelt on it. So that's interesting. I never really thought of that being a thing. But uh, with the iguana tweaks, it makes a difference. Uh, so I was thinking about what I want to do next because we have all this Tinker stuff. And Tinkers is really important in this pack um, because you need to cast your tools because all the vanilla tools are pretty much, you know, you can't use them. So... I got to thinking, I was like, well, I'll do, I'll do Tinkers, you know, we'll start Tinkers, get going. And then I realized something. You see a problem here? I see a problem here. <laughs> There's no lakes. And I didn't realize that until just a second ago, but I think I have a solution. So this is like a one time. Oh, by the way, I wanted to talk about these uh, broken ores really quickly. So one thing that's in this pack that I did not know that was in this pack is uh, metallurgy. So like we have this stuff called adamantine. And if you look at this stuff, some of these tools are ridiculous. Look at that. Plus 18 attack damage on an axe. And then the pickaxe has manual in like 17 attack damage. Holy crap. So we have like all these ores, like there's silver, like does the silver have anything? Uses, so like, yeah, plus 11 on that one. A lustrous ore, so what's this one do? That one's plus 18 as well. Jesus, dude, so like, uh, I'm gonna have to get into metallurgy pretty quickly, I think. But the problem is we can't really do tinkers because we don't have uh, stuff to make grout. I do want to go ahead and look at grout one time just to make sure that I can't get what I need. Hmm. You know what? I think we can actually manage. You never mind. I just realized something and it, this is a big derp on my end. Um, I think I can actually do sinkers. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab a diamond. A diamond and some sticks and I was actually gonna go to Twilight Forest to get what I needed but I forgot that X and Helio is in the pack and with that being said pretty much do anything with that right so what we can do is we can do this that makes sand and then what you need to do to make uh, to make clay is you need to uh, we need a, we need wood let me grab some of this Hopefully that'll be in. I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, do I have any more? Oh, there we go. So we'll put this up here. And we'll make slabs. And then this is a composting barrel that you can use to make stuff with. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right here. We're going to grab a bucket full of water. And then we're going to place this down. We're going to hit that. That makes dust. Put that in there, that makes clay. Break that, that makes clay balls. Gravel, sand, clay. Cha-ching! That is how we're gonna do that. So, now that I thought about it, I don't need to go to Twilight Forest. I'm gonna grind out enough of this to where we can get going um, making to make Tinker stuff, and I'll come back. All right, so I think I am ready to go. I think I have everything that I'm going to need. We need to grab some wood really quickly. We're going to set up our tinker setup, but first we got to do a couple things. Um, one, we are going to need a piece of cobblestone. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any cobblestone, do I? I don't, but I have dirt. And if I have to make, steal some dirt from the ground, I wheel. I wheel, I wheel. All right, we need, um, we just need one piece. 
So there's two. And there we go. All right, put that up. I don't need the dust. All right, so let's make a piece of cobblestone. There we go. Cobblestone done. So um, let's see. I'm going to put this like right here, I think. So we are going to make a cobblestone generator that's going to power our smeltery. We are going to use the lava generated in a crucible like that. So now that we have that, we need to make a crucible. So I've got bone meal. And by the way, if you don't know how to get bone meal, I think it's what sand recipe. Uh, dust, dust, you get bone meal from that. So I did a bunch of dust. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine these together to make porcelain clay. And then we are going to make a crucible that needs to be fired. So we'll let that go. In the meantime, I think we're going to need a little bit more cobblestone, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, we're also going to need a little bit of sand as well. So let's take this. We are going to need six sand because we're going to make a transfer node. Is that six? Yeah, there we go. So let's uh, take that and then we'll put that in there to smelt. So we've got one. We need two more pieces of uh, two more pieces of cobblestone. So we need to make slabs. No, we need to make stone, I mean, sorry. I'll eventually get it right. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that. There's three pieces. What do we get? An acorn. I don't know what we can use an acorn for. I should have a bunch of charcoal around here somewhere. Oh, uh, there's some charcoal. All right, so let's go ahead, get that smelting. Uh, that'll be done in just a second. Okay, so I think I have everything that I'm going to need for a transfer node. Uh, we'll need two pieces of stone. Okay, so we're going to need to make two more pieces of cobblestone then. Because I don't have enough. Where can I steal some cobble, some dirt from that won't really bother me? Aha, over here. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... I don't want to, like, just take it right out of the ground. I know it seems silly, but, like, I kind of like the way my base looks. So, can I... can't really reach it. Okay, hopefully three will be enough. <laughs> I know I know it seems dumb, but I just I don't want to leave like a giant hole somewhere. Now, all right, we gotta make a little bit more cobblestone. Okay, just get these pieces and there we go. There we go. Alright, so you and then we'll smelt. Uh, we got that. We'll need to smelt that. So then we need to make slabs out of that. And we didn't even need six glass. I don't know why I needed thought about that. So what we'll do is we'll do glass, glass, uh, redstone, slabs. There we go. Uh, I just realized we need one piece of redstone. We are one piece of redstone short. We need 11 pieces. 12 pieces. There we go. We got lucky. Fantastic. Okay, so we have made our transfer pipe. Uh, that needs to be smelted. There we go. Sorry, I thought I was like ready, but like I didn't I didn't realize that I was like this far behind. Well, then <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. So let's see. We need to make a node. First thing we need to do is make a redstone block. And then put that there, that there, that there. Then transfer pipe, stone, stone, and a chest. So that makes our transfer node. Put that right there. Next up, we need to make a world interaction upgrade. Um, put that in the middle. And then you, 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 you. So we're on our action upgrade. So that's going to start picking up cobblestone. Uh, that. That's going to start mining it. Next up, we need to place our crucible down over top of the lava. 
So that's going to start pumping cobblestone into there. But since it's not going into the top, it won't work. There we go. And we'll just quickly disable the side there. Perfect. Now, uh, now that we are generating lava, we can start setting up our crew or our tinkers construct stuff. So let's see. I've got four casting basins and some things. So the first thing we're going to need to make is a controller. And then we'll need to make... Uh, we might as well go ahead and make a couple tanks because we have the extra glass while we're here. There we go. So three tanks. Or two tanks. Three tanks. And then we already have a ton of bricks. But uh, we might as well take advantage of using these. And um, we'll do three... Let's do six faucets. One, two, three, four, five, six... And then we'll do six drains and we'll be able to use three on each side. Perfect. Okay, so we'll want to set that up like right here somewhere. So we would want our tanks to be the closest to that. So probably like right there. And then let's get rid. Do I have a shovel on me? No, it's right here with my hands. So now all we got to do is just build the Tinker's Construct setup, and uh, we'll need to pipe the liquid from the Crucible, the side of the Crucible, into this. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, probably end up using Fluid Conduit, I think, which will be pretty easy to use. This stuff right here. We'll need to make the binder, which is just gravel clay and everything. So I'm going to get that all set up, and uh, yeah. Good to go. Okay, so I've got our uh, smeltery set up. Look how tall it is. I, I didn't even use all the bricks either. I have like uh, some more left over. I have 58 of those. And then I have like uh, 37 seared there. And I think that was in one there. Uh, anyways, I want to make a small pin out here really quickly. I have these four safari nets in my inventory. And I, I don't know what they do. They're mystery safari nets. So we could get an animal or we could get a mob. Uh, and it's going to be fun. So let's see what we get. Uh, oh, it must be on peaceful. I didn't even realize that. So a pig. A deer. And another pig. Awesome. That is incredibly lucky. Um, let's grab you and you. Does this have a durability? That does have a durability. I'm going to kill the deer. Is there... There must not be any animal sounds. I don't know why that's down for. Whoa. Oh, uh, he dropped a bag. Ooh, ender pearls. Wow. And you, and you. So now we've got a pig pen. Awesome! Okay, let's put this stuff away. Now we've uh, we have actually gotten a lot done. So I want. Hmm. There's no way I threw it away. I'm looking for our HQM book, the one that tells us all the quests. But I don't see it. Uh, hold on. HQM. Or, I guess it would be Quest Book. Where'd that thing go? Huh. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. There it is. It's hard to see. <laughs> okay. Um. So, let's see what we got. Um. Can't do that one yet. Uh, we did that one. We got a reward. The sieve is finished. Delete that chance cube. Um, copper. Okay, so we are we're definitely uh, making progress. Let's see what's in the bag. Uh, a sponge and a sponge. That's weird. Eh, anyways. So, uh, next up, we you see all these dusts and things? We need to figure out uh, a storage idea for this, and I have an idea. But first, we need to see how many there are. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up broken. And this is going to tell us how many pieces of broken there are. So the red ones are nether. The, um, the white ones are end. Uh, so we need to make sure that uh, we don't count those because we're not going to have to sieve those just yet. Let's sleep in just a second. Slippy slips. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we have 22 different types of ores that we can get from this, which means we have 22 types of, uh, of dust and 22 types of cracked. Um, this stuff right here, the crushed, I mean. So with that being said, uh, we should probably make... Um, I don't know. Uh, we should probably make some barrels, I think. Probably, like, uh, let's make, like, a stack and a half of barrels. And then we'll work on a room for that. Alright, so this is what we are going to use for temporary storage for all of our broken and stuff ores. I think I'm going to move my sieving operation down here, too. I'm just not sure where I want to put it. Um... Because there's no point in having that down there if we're just going to do it right up here, you know? Um, did I move the sieve? Wasn't it like right there? Uh, uh, <laughs> it might have caught on fire. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Hold on. I've, yeah, it might have actually caught I don't remember breaking it. The, the lava could have caught it on fire. Yeah, so about that, looks like we are going to have to make another one. That really sucks. We only have one worm left, but um, here, I'm going to use my crook. There we go. So we got 12. Perfect. Okay, so let's... Uh, by the way, my... Um, my axe has a new modifier on it, which is pretty awesome. It's got uh, it got lapis on it, so that's pretty cool. I've never actually seen like one of those get lapis on it. Uh, quickly, let's quickly replant these. This is one thing I've always learned is if you're if you're ever playing like Skyblock or like Super Flat or anything, you always got to replant. Otherwise, you're just gonna be out of luck later on. So. I have another 61, so I'm glad that our tree farm is expanding. We're getting a lot of wood from this after. This is getting bigger and bigger. There we go. Okay, so what we'll do is finish that row and then come over here. Well, let's get this to grow really quickly. And of course, it would be like the world's smallest tree. Let's try it again. See if we can get a bigger tree. I, I don't want like a huge tree, but I want one that's gonna, you know, give us a lot of silk. Well, that's a little better. Okay, so, uh, you. Yeah. That will, uh, spread. And we gotta be careful that the fire doesn't destroy our stuff anymore. Uh, okay, so the game plan is to move all of that stuff down there. So let's go ahead and do that now. Like I said, we counted 22 of them, and uh, we might have 22 right here. I have no idea. I'm just going to take it one at a time. I have no idea what we have and what we don't have yet. So, um, then we'll just do this. And then anytime we get any kind of cracked or anything, those look the same. And then on this side. Do we actually, oh. Wow, it actually takes your boots off? Holy crap, that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know you could do it like that. Okay, so we are missing a, uh, a couple, but still, 
this will be much, much better for storage um, now. And now that we have the dust and everything, we can move that all down there too. So uh, we are moving right along here. I just got to get my other seed back. I'm also, uh, we have a bunch of dust. I'm going to take that down there as well. All right, guys. So I am working on uh, making some new tools. And I have been seeding a ton. And I actually got some pretty good uh, some pretty good stuff from the sieve. This stuff right here, adamantine, is uh, pretty rare, and I managed to get nine pieces of it. So if you turn that into sand, like this dust stuff, you get like pretty much uh, like double. So I made some aluminum brass, and we're going to finish up the tools by making some casts here. And I want to make the rest of this. I wonder if I should just... See, I don't want to break that because that adamantine is in there. Hmm. I guess if I just... What is... uh? That's two ingots. The two ingots could make four, four of the rods. Okay, I'm going to cast these. Look how this glitches, by the way. Oh, it didn't do it that time. It was, doing, it was glitching for me a second ago. There we go. So we'll make four of these. And then I'm going to break the controller. And we'll finish up our tools. I was going to... I recorded this whole section. But it ended up being like 15 minutes long. And I can't include it in the video because it's so freaking long. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just... I'll do... I'll, make, I'll film the video and make the tools. But yeah, that didn't work so well. Alright, so I'm going to put this iron in there. Actually... That's going to make two. I only need one of each of these, so that'll be all I need. But, uh, yeah, this, these tools are really good, man. I was actually kind of surprised that I got that much. But then again, I did see, like, almost three stacks of gravel in total. I mean, you can kind of tell that we are getting a lot of stuff here, so. All right. Is our iron good to go? Well, I hate how long this takes. It annoys me. <laughs> I'm so impatient. Come on, come on. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. So we have two molten iron. This should help the tools be relatively good rather than using like wood or stone. You can't even use stone in this pack anyways. Now let's go ahead and craft these tools. So we'll do the iron binding, uh, which needs to be there. All right. So we have a durability of 2,800. Um, effective durability is like 3,500. I guess that's like unbreaking. Mining speed of 10 and manual and mining level. That is one heck of a pickaxe. And that's all from just doing like four stacks of, uh, of that. So same with this guy. That has plus five attack damage. Um, the sword isn't too great, but it'll work. I mean, all these still need to be leveled up pretty much, too, so. You. Yeah. Once again, this is probably going to have insane durability. And you. That's, uh, th that's a pretty good early game set of tools, so, like, uh, I don't know what the rarity of that adamantine is, but, like, uh, I guess I just got lucky. Uh, we would want this. So it is a 1% chance and we got nine of them. So that was a pretty good, pretty good drop rate. I'd say, uh, almost nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep. And with the durability that we have, uh, I think that we could probably level up the ax. This guy, we gotta be careful. We, you know, what we should probably do. We should put moss on there, but I don't have any stone brick. And getting stone would take a while. We would need, uh, what, 32? Thir we would need 32 stone to do that. How much is here? We have a pretty big durability on this. I could vein mine it and see what happens. I mean, I guess I have a couple extra pieces. I don't know. I, I kind of want repair on it before I do that. You know what I'm saying? That was weird. Um... Do I have any cobble? Only have five. 
Uh, you know what? I think I'll hold off. I do. I do want to test them, though. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. Wow! Didn't even touch the durability, and it got uh, it got a modifier and redstone on it, and that's a lot of wood too. Holy crap! Awesome! I love my new tools. They're so hype. Awesome. Okay, guys. So I think we got a lot done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys really are happy with this series because I'm having a good time with it so far as well. Uh, putting in a lot of work to get what we need, though. And uh, I'm probably going to go back and keep sifting the rest of this. And when we come back, we have even more stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is I, Jimmy.